This is a book we often read as part of math, as part of second grade, so I want to be sure I get to share it with you. It's by Helen Nolan and Tracy Walker. It's called How Much, How Many, How Far, How Heavy, How Long, How Tall is 1,000. How much, how many, how far, how heavy, how long, how tall is 1,000? On a clear night, away from the brightness of the city, the sky is full of stars. So many, you probably can't count them all. How many do you think there are? On a, whoop, on a warm day, a hillside is often sprinkled with yellow dandelions. Could there be a 1,000? What does a 1,000 look like? If you collect 1,000 acorns and put them in a pile, the pile won't be very big. But if the acorns grow into oak trees, they would make a whole forest. 1,000 sheets of paper neatly stacked into a pile is about as high as four thick books. But if the wind blows the papers around, 1,000 sheets will litter an entire neighborhood. 1,000 people sitting in rows will fill a small hockey arena. But if the 1,000 people are waiting in line to get in, the line they make will stretch out the door, down the street, and right around the block. Are you noticing anything about all the illustrations? How much is 1,000? Is it a lot? That depends. If you don't like freckles, a thousand is a lot of them. But then when it comes to hair, a thousand really isn't that many. I like freckles. I think a thousand would be great. One thousand bricks seems like a lot, but could you build a house with them? One thousand bricks would only make a teeny tiny house with one very small room. Would that be enough space for you? What about 1,000 french fries? Could you eat all of them? But really? Even if you loved fries, 1,000 would be too much for one person. You could share them. A single serving is about 40 fries. How many friends would 1,000 french fries feed? Again, if you want to think about that and actually solve it, if you had 1,000 french fries and one person, a single serving is about 40, how many people would be fed by a thousand french fries? How much space do a thousand pennies take up? Could you put them in your pocket? Probably not, even if your pockets were quite big. Even if you used two pockets. Maybe if you used all your pockets. I bet it would be hard to move. How far is a thousand steps? Would you be tired if you walked that far? If you walked around the bases of a regular baseball diamond, a thousand steps would take you about four times. But if you ran, a thousand steps would take you around about 10 times. Would that make you tired? How tall is a stack of a thousand pennies? Is it as tall as you are? A stack of a thousand pennies is about as tall as an 11 year old, but a stack of a thousand dimes would be about as tall as a seven year old. I want us to think about that for a sec. If a stack of a thousand pennies is about as tall as an 11 year old, and a stack of a thousand dimes though, is about as tall as a seven year old, what do you think is thicker, a dime or a penny? heavy are a thousand cookies. Could you lift them? If you can lift a two-year-old, I know some of you can, you could lift a thousand Oreo cookies, but a thousand large oatmeal raisin cookies could be as heavy as an eight-year-old. How long is a thousand minutes? If you start counting minutes at six o'clock in the morning, when you get to 1,000, it would be long past your bedtime. How long is a thousand days? If today were your seventh birthday, in 1,000 days, you would be almost 10 years old. Sometimes 1,000 doesn't seem like very much at all. 
but sometimes it seems like a great many. So now that you know how much a thousand is, what do you think a thousand thousands would be? It's a million. And that's it.